fit their pension scheme to ensure that they are retiring, to ensure their retirement security. This will help alleviate all age poverty and help push them in times like this. We have to recognize that government cannot do it all alone without the combined efforts of all stakeholders. As I bring my address to a close, I wish to emphasize the importance of strengthening the governance and management of pensions. As the Oversight Ministry, we encourage regular capacity building programs for all of trustees and industry players of the TTR pension scheme. These capacity building programs are necessary to adequately equip you with this requisite knowledge, with the requisite knowledge, skills, and competences in the management of pensions. This will not only be new to your performance as board of trustees, but also go a long way positively impact the corporate governance of the scheme. Lastly, government is in the process of undertaking certain critical reforms to strengthen the regulation of the pension industry to guarantee decent pensions for all. These reforms are aimed at one, improving equity and removing disincentives, reducing administrative costs maintaining and improving investment of performance and improving pensions coverage across the centers. While government does so, I wish to urge the Board of Trustees of the Health Services of the Pension Scheme to also undertake expansion of your services equally across the country so that those in the rural areas can benefit and have access to the services of IE getting offices in the regions, the offices in the districts, so that matters that they need to have, issues that they need to grasp, questions that they need to have answers will be delivered to them on time. Through these efforts, we will be able to collectively build a sound and robust pension regime that supports economic growth and national growth. Thank you for watching Mission One TV. Kindly subscribe for more news updates.